Hello guys, it's Johan. Today, Hugh and I will do a random questions tag and basically we are going to answer 10 questions. So the first one is... The weird thing I did as a child was that whenever I was hungry, I just went and took a piece of paper and ate it for some reason. Uh, I don't know what I, why I would eat paper, um, but yeah, I did it as a child. I used to eat paper when I was younger, and I was convinced each colour had its own separate flavour. I was a really clever child. If I could pick any superpower to have, I would pick the power of transformation, because I think it would be awesome to be able to turn to a bird or a fish and go swimming. I think I would go with invisibility because uh, it would be really awesome to be at places but nobody could see you and you could like scare people easily by doing whatever I mean you could pretend to be a ghost I mean it would be a lot of fun I think that's a pretty difficult question for me because I want to live in England because I like the country and the people there are nice but I would probably pick Gothenburg because I, I, I don't know why, but every time I'm in Gothenburg, the people there are so friendly and they're so nice. Um, and it's a really amazing city. So I'm probably going to move to Gothenburg in the future. At the moment, I live in the south of England. So hopefully I'll be going up to the north of England when I go to university. And after university, I would most definitely want to live abroad. Um, Possibly Sweden. Do I still watch cartoons? Yeah. <laughs> and I do sometimes. And when I do, I usually watch Adventure Time. But sometimes I watch Spongebob as well. And I just find both, the sh both shows funny. So yeah. My biggest pet peeve is probably when people are late. I really, really hate when people are late because I'm usually always on time. And let's say you're going to meet a friend at a certain place in like 50 minutes. And you are there in 50 minutes. And you're, and you're waiting for your friend. And he comes 30 minutes later. So you have to wait 50 minutes for no reason. For no reason. Or if I'm like going to take my dog for a walk. And I know a friend wants to join me. And I, I tell him to meet me ha halfway. And when I'm halfway, I can't see him. And eventually I go to his house and he's not even outside yet. The, the, it just annoys me so much. So much. So that, yeah, that's my pet peeve. My pet peeves. Buses, bus drivers, bus stops, how long it takes for a bus to get in. I just don't like buses. Oh, and people on buses, loud music on buses, when the bus driver's not in the mood for you, when they don't accept the right change. Buses. One of my main hobbies is actually travelling. Uh, I've always wanted to go around the world and I always find it really exciting when I get the chance to go to another country. Another one of my hobbies is actually playing video games and I'm a little bit overly obsessed. I also really like music. Um, I like all genres of music, literally try me. Despite R&B, that's probably the line for me. And I also do art and design. And one of my main hobbies is probably playing guitar. Uh, I usually play guitar every day and I play an acoustic guitar. The fun memory I have is when I went to the Canary Islands with my family. I think I was like 13, 12 or 13. And it was the first time I was outside Scandinavia. And the weather was really nice because it was like 30 degrees every day. And we had a private pool and the sea was nearby. So you, there was so much fun stuff to do. And we also climbed up a volcano uh, once with a guide. And the volcano was not active, of course, and it, the hole was kind of filled, so you could write your names with uh, 
volcano stones basically and it was just awesome and my name is probably still there at least I hope so I actually think my fondest memory at the moment is when I went over to Johan's for New Year's and it was actually on New Year's Day because the last couple of New Year's I had weren't as good as I anticipated so in all it ended off a really good year there was a firework display with uh, the skyline being covered up in fireworks and I was just in good company and just met some really great people there and also there was Twister, I love playing Twister Okay, so you're probably wondering what my other New Year's were like and I actually have a small anecdote about that which happened in 2011, not only 30 minutes in and basically we were all drinking underage, you shouldn't do it though and we put on some pizzas but we decided to all go outside, a group of friends and I and after a while we realised we left the pizzas on whilst we were still out and we were about 20 minutes away from the house so we ran back and somehow I fell over and broke my foot and because I was so drunk I got up and carried on running in the morning it looked like something out of Harry Potter <laughs> I didn't really enjoy spending all of uh, New Year's Day in A&E. <laughs> I could probably tell about uh, last time when I were in England. Uh, me, Hugh and Chris were at Camden Market and we decided that we wanted to go to Chinatown and to get there we had to take a train from the London Underground. And when we were going to take the train uh, it was like ready to depart and Hugh and Chris started running and I ran after. But they got in the train, but the door closed right in front of my face. And uh, I kind of panicked because I didn't have any cell phone reception. So I couldn't call them, I couldn't text them, I couldn't do anything. And I had to decide if I should wait on them to come back or if I should take the next train. So yeah, it was kind of scary. Um, but I decided to take the next train. And luckily, they were waiting. Uh, uh, they were waiting for me at the next station. So it solved itself pretty good. But that could have gone very, really, really horrible. What if they took the train as well and we wouldn't meet? Uh, my worst habit is probably that I'm really, really lazy, and I just waste time doing nothing instead of doing something productive. I'm usually watching YouTube videos. Uh, our show, uh, like I can watch a show for a whole day without doing anything and I just waste time, I should be like productive but I'm not, I'm not. I have too many bad habits to count so I'm gonna write down a list and then I'll get back to you. Okay I've got a couple of things here, I only list a few. Um, I have a habit of making one too many bizarre noises, uh, like and stuff for example. I sometimes never talk in conversations, I'll just be sat there in dead silence like... and then sometimes I'll be just talking a little bit too much that I can verge on annoying. I'm horrifically lazy, I don't go to bed until stupid times in the morning and I always regret it. <laughs> I'm the type who goes mental if you touch my hair as well, seriously just don't. <laughs> I really, really like having geeky conversations more than anything in the world. And lastly, I do things like I join the gym, but then I never go. It's a waste of money, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> To be honest, I'm actually pretty happy with myself, but I do have two things I would probably change. Um, the first one would most definitely be to cut out the procrastination so I can sit down and actually learn another language, because I'm currently trying to learn Swedish and my laziness is just getting in the way. Another thing I would change about myself is probably to cut the way I sometimes can't talk to people. 
because it can get really annoying when I'm in the middle of a conversation and then all of a sudden I start thinking about how I'm running out of things to say and then I'm completely silent for the rest of the duration of the conversation. And I would change my social awkwardness because I'm bad in social situations and my social skill isn't that good so I need to practice how to speak to new people basically. That's it for this video, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more content from us be sure to subscribe and bye.